Welcome to the Business Miracles Podcast. I'm Heather Dominic, founder of businessmiracles.com. Since 2010, I've been training highly sensitive entrepreneurs and leaders from around the globe to work less while making more impact and income by doing things differently. I'm so glad you've joined me. Listen in and get ready for a shift in the way you view yourself, your work, your life. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles podcast, episode 138, Goals. Listen in as I share how to go beyond the limited thinking that you're seeing everywhere in the news and on social media right now and learn how to use your highly sensitive strength of intuition to support you in setting and meeting goals that excite you. Goal acceleration. So goal acceleration, especially when it comes to going beyond the 3D limitations that you're seeing everywhere in the news right now, is really at the heart of intuitive goal setting. Now more than ever, we are being called to go beyond the limited thinking of the 80% those who are not highly sensitive, which again is part of intuitive goal setting. So first of all, goals, what are they? Well, according to the Webster dictionary, the definition is the object of a person's ambition or effort and aim or desired result. And I'll share that again. The object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. Now, typically, highly sensitives tend to shy away from goals. There tends to be an adverse reaction to goal setting. And my experience has shown me the adverse reaction is based on the first half of that definition, person's ambition or effort. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, just that piece of the definition is a mismatch for how our nervous system is wired. We hear words like ambition or effort And we immediately make the neural pathway connection, most likely to some experience that you had early on in education, in training, being forced to achieve a goal in an 80 percenter way, having to work hard to create something versus being able to access a transcendent approach to creation. So the second part of the definition, an aim or desired result is the heart of intuitive goal setting. We access intuitive goals by being clear for ourselves. What is the intent behind the goal? Now, what tends to motivate an 80 percenter is different than what tends to motivate a highly sensitive. Most traditional 80 percent oriented business training or leadership training programs focus primarily on one aspect of external result, which is financial. Personally, I remember my early days of starting out in self-employment and particularly the coaching industry at that time and all of the marketing that I was seeing from leaders in the industry, air quotes, were about like, oh, I now have this new car. Oh, I now have this 10,000 square foot home. Oh, I now have a closet filled with Manolo Blanc shoes. And I would look at those things and I would be like, Oh my God, it takes so much to take care of a car. Oh, how do you even take care of a 10,000 square foot house? I don't even like Manolo Blahnik shoes. High heels make me uncomfortable. And it just didn't speak to my soul. 
So for those of us who are highly sensitive, who are called to self-employment, who are called to entrepreneurialism, called to leadership, the motivation tends to be financial and personal happiness and how they go together. So are you approaching goals from the socialized self, the 80 percenter approach, which also tends to trigger for us as highly sensitive past patterns of not wanting to disappoint self, not wanting to disappoint others, not being able to measure up to those external goals that don't really mean that much to us anyway, going into an anxious attachment style, and then therefore overprotection, all setting us up for this repeated pattern of setting a goal, not being able to meet it, beating up on self, enforcing mismatched meaning of what it is to be highly sensitive and our own definition of self-worth and esteem. Constantly missing the mark. If that's your experience with goals, why would you want to set them? It's just a setup. Or are you taking agency and ownership to set goals that are from your essential self. Setting goals to be an aim, setting goals for a desired result, which most likely your desired result, therefore your goals are going to look and sound different than a socialized goal, an 80 percenter goal. Intuitive goal setting is about connecting into the heart, getting clear about what you desire, using energy management tools, inner work to support your level of belief that you can have what you desire, and then external tools to support you in staying consistent with outer actions. Belief work, external actions, all in support of having what you desire, whatever that might be, no right or wrong or judgment. But it is important for you to be in process of getting clear of what the desire is for yourself. Who are you waiting for to tell you what your desire should be? If you're waiting for someone, you need to break that pattern starting now. If you don't believe that you can have what you desire, you need to start using the tools to break that pattern now. If you're not taking aligned action to support the belief that you can have what you desire, you need to start using the tools and break that pattern now. Regardless of what is happening in the world around us. And that is the approach to intuitive goal setting as highly sensitive entrepreneurs and leaders. Thank you for being a part of this Business Miracles podcast episode and for beginning to dip your toe into the journey of highly sensitive leadership training. If you are ready to truly use your sensitivities as strengths in all parts of your work and life, I invite you to connect for a one-on-one chat. You will experience being deeply listened to and together we'll get a sense of whether the highly sensitive leadership training programs are the best next step for you and your highly sensitive journey at this time. Just go to www.claritycall.com to schedule a conversation. We so look forward to connecting with you. Talk to you soon.